What's going on YouTube? This is Dax in here, uh, Weaver Family Farm. So, um, some of my other videos where I posted a video of, uh, you know, something wrong with something, you know, where people can go through and search and then be able to, you know, typically pretty easily figure out what's wrong. Um, and this one is, this is our, uh, 2011 Hyundai Sonata. Um, and what it started doing is shaking really bad, but it only does it at specific speeds. And then once you start going a different speed, it'll go away. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get it to doing the worst and see if you can see it at all. So right between about 65 and 70 miles an hour is about the worst. When I go over 70, it gets better. If I go like under 60 or so, it gets better. So I'm not sure if you can see, you know, in the video, any of the vibrating going on Which over there to the seat belt if you can see that in the video or the seat it's shaking pretty crazy i'm not sure what else you can see it's shaking you can really feel it in the seat and the wheels and you can kind of even hear it in the wheels um in this case i'm going to assume that the tires need balance now if i'm wrong um, once i go get the tires balanced or whatever see if that's it and i'll come back and leave a comment in the video of what actually fi fixed it I'm gonna flip around my camera here and hopefully you're able to see that if my iPhone doesn't try to take it out. You see that mirror back there is really shaking. And hopefully you're able to see that if my iPhone doesn't try to take it out. You see that mirror back there is really shaking. And now what I'm going to do is actually I'm gonna let off the gas here a little bit and slow down to under 60. Get down to 55 or so. And I'm not sure if you can hear the background noise or anything, but pretty much all the shaking has disappeared. I mean, it's doing it just a little bit, but you know, like a third as much as it was. And even looking back here at the seat, yeah, it's still shaking just a little bit, but not as bad. And I'm gonna point the camera in the back again, show you that mirror. If you can see that mirror back there. And I'm also gonna do it one more time. There's a sack down here I got some uh, stuff in, and I'm gonna video it at the different speeds as well. All right, so hopefully the sack will start bouncing like it was when I get up here. Seat's really shaking, really, really shaking. You can see that sack shaking. Hopefully, I'm trying to hit this as I get up here to go keep getting worse. I'm almost to 70 mile an hour right now. It's really, really, really shaking. Um, now, once I go and I get over 70, I'm gonna start going over 70 a little bit. And there the shaking slowly starts going away. I mean, as soon as I hit 71, 72, 73 mile per hour, if I get all the way up to 75, it's pretty much non-existent again. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, once again, I'll come back in the comments once I figure out exactly what the shaking is at specific speeds. And uh, hopefully it helps everyone out. Thanks for watching, see you later, bye-bye.